This restaurant is housed within stone walls hundreds of years old. From the moment patrons enter these premises, they are treated like royalty. The welcoming music and finger chimes of the belly dancer mark the beginning of this most unusual dining adventure. When the waiter makes his appearance carrying wine and the special dining implements, it is a sure sign our tourists will soon begin the ritual which brought them here. Feeling that the foreigners were comfortable within his domain, the waiter signaled for the house specialty. Good evening. Here's the good food that I want. As the monkey was brought down the hall and a toast to prosperity was made, the waiter presented the men with their tools of destruction. Good. Look at that little monkey. Why don't you touch him? I know it'll be great. Secured in a special trap, the animal was now ready to become the main dish. Following a few simple instructions, the men at the table were prepared for the kill. No, no, just use quick throw. Just use quick throw. Use. Oh, my God. That's all I have. Ah. Ah. After a matter of seconds, the gruesome ritual had ended. The skull was carved open for the delicate brains inside. While this continued, it occurred to me that within the confines of this elegant restaurant, people were paying exorbitant prices to play the role of a hunter. A definite ritual had been established, and there was very little difference between what I had witnessed in this restaurant and the ceremony of the Maasai. The human being was killing for celebration, ready to devour the animal slaughtered. Throughout history, it was believed that by eating the brains of this sacred animal, a new source of wisdom would be inherited, bringing those who ate this delicacy closer to God. Well, I know. You don't have to. Watching a living animal die before their eyes and then having to eat the lifeless remains caused amusing responses from each of the tourists. When I asked the man with a hearty appetite why he enjoyed the meal, he replied, If I can get closer to God by eating brains, why not? The human reaction to death in this particular environment was highly instructive. Flavor became incidental, taste totally ignored, for the spiritual human mind became the savior in this meal of death. None of you are going to I want some. It would be another lifetime before any of these tourists would visit the Al-Haram again. But you can't. <laughs>